it's Stephanie here with Tickets and Turnstiles, and I have been asked an awful lot about how many days is good for Disney World. This is my opinion. Seven days is the minimum. This is why you have two days to fly, the first day and the last day. Now you add in each park. Since there's four parks, that would be four days. Now this is why I say seven days and not six days, and that is because I think that you need to split up your park days with a water park day or a break day. Now if you're gonna go with the water park option, definitely choose Typhoon Lagoon. Blizzard Beach is fine, but it's not quite as fun as Typhoon Lagoon. Even if you're not a water park person, still think about this option. You would not believe how fun it is. Even my dad likes to just sit there on the sand and listen to the music playing in the background. It's just an awesome good time. If you're not into water parks and you're not gonna spend that extra money, maybe think about resort hopping or just hanging out at your resort. Um, you need that break day, you need to recharge, you need to get ready um, for more park days. Most importantly, just remember to take that break day right in the middle. That adds up to seven days, including your travel. So that is my opinion, the bare minimum. You can always go for more though.